record. Okay, so it's being recorded. Um, the Spiritual Journey, uh, 10th of September 2019. Welcome to the six week video. Yes, tonight we will look at reincarnation. But, but first, let's consider the life of a caterpillar. It spends its life traveling from one leaf to another and has a special leafy diet. It doesn't need much else. Then it seems to die or go into a state of decay. It creates a cocoon or a chrysalis. From that point, you think it's not living. Yeah, you think it's dead. However, we know it's transforming from one body to another. And all going well will emerge from the cocoon or the chrysalis as a different life form with a new body, a butterfly, mm -hmm. or a moth. Yeah, it could be a moth. Now, I put a couple of links, yeah? So you can see um, on the text, you can see uh, a monarch butterfly, which complies to the law of four, in fact. Yeah, the four things are the egg, the caterpillar, the chrysalis, and the butterfly. Yeah, four things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So there's that. And concerning the law of two, there is a difference between a cocoon and a chrysalis. Uh -huh. Well, obviously, yeah. They are both used in, trans in the transformer formation process. Yeah, and I've got a couple of... Um, video there and some links. Now this could suggest two possible types of reincarnation. A moth level, yeah, basic planetary astral reincarnation, and a finer, more beautiful, um, higher astral reincarnation. Or you can say there is a third one. Uh, so what would the B-level reincarnation be from a larva? The feeding is quite different to a uh, caterpillar. And you can have a look at the, um, the links of, of given that. So it's an interesting nature study. So how does that help us when considering reincarnation? So as I mentioned in the fifth week video, there is such a thing as the tree of life. And the tarot cards can be seen as the 22 major leaves of the tree of life. From that point of view, an analogy can be made. If we can digest mentally the leaves on the tree of life, understand and uh, comprehend their meaning, their secrets, absorb their vitamin, we too can transform in a spiritual way to the next level of life. This is not hope, but a reasoning process, an interaction with creation. I'm not saying that everybody must study the tarot to reincarnate, but such a study will strengthen one's inner life and mental life and make you stronger for the spiritual journey. Yes. Much research has been done on the subject of reincarnation, which proves that it exists. However, the truth of it is found in a reasoning process that you must do for yourself. You must look at the evidence. There are many videos that you can watch concerning re reincarnation posted on my Facebook page, uh, Life Meaning Promise. Yeah, there's a link to my page there. Now, uh, there's a, another interesting link that shows the idea of reincarnation around the world. Reincarnation in world religions. Yes, and there's a link there for um, somebody talking about what did Jesus teach about reincarnation? Mm. Yeah, now one of the many biblical references that hint at reincarnation and karma is John 9. 
As he passed by, he saw a blind man from birth. And his disciples asked him, Rabbi, who sinned, this man or his parents, that he was born blind? Clearly, here is a reference to why this man was reincarnated or born as a blind man. You can, if you think in those terms, yes? And as I say, there are many videos about reincarnation. However, let's reason out the idea. We have looked at creation and the ray of creation. We have looked at astral and ethereal light. We have looked at the inner and outer light. An interesting point is the ancient Jewish people believed that the soul lived in the blood. This could be for referring to the astral body, which according to its strength may live on for thousands of years before it runs down like a battery and must at that point recharge, find a body to re recharge. Any body will do if the one of your choice has been taken. Now this astral body is electromagnetic not physical <laughs> it resides in the iron of the blood the physical body is subject to organic law whereas the astral body is subject to planetary law and is fed by one's feelings living one builds content that strengthens the astral body at whichever level it lives at in the astral life now, personally, I have had the experience of my astral body, so for me, this seems reasonable. With such feelings and content, one begins to become aware and awake at planetary level. However, the mental life or mental body of the head adds consciousness to its life and forms yet another body of the human complex. More on that another day. So when one's physical body dies, your astral body in its charged up state can leave the body and live in the astral light with one's ancient family for a long time. Or it may have you may have a special mission to reincarnate immediately or as soon as possible. However, if one strengthens one's mind and consciousness, then reincarnation at a conscious level is possible. And here we are talking of travel to sun or stars, depending on one's content, learnings and actions. So there lies the choice. One can become a bodybuilder and have muscles or become an astral bodybuilder and have content at planetary level or go beyond those to higher levels in creation with a strong conscious brain life. The idea of having an astral body is seen in the millions of near-death experiences. Do you know what a near-death experience is? Yes. Yeah, okay. Have you ever had one? No. Oh, okay. So, um, there are such videos on my Meaning Life Promise page, and many more can be found on the internet. Personally, I've had two NDEs. The first one, I was nine years old, I remember nothing of my over six week coma, I was in a coma for six weeks, but do have memory of astral travel whilst I was recovering. Yes, that kind of struck me as odd. The second NDE, when I was 40, was much shorter. I became a speck of consciousness, traveling through the ages, to a cave where there was an ocean of souls. 
possibly waiting to reincarnate. I became like the sun over them, bringing light to their darkness. Yes, just before being returned yeah, and waking up. Now, I found since my coma at nine years old that I walk with one foot in the spiritual realms and one foot in the everyday reality of life. Thus, it has always been easy or easier for me to develop in a spiritual and cultural way, yes, on a spiritual journey. My six videos on the Facebook group page, The Spiritual Journey, can be watched and read in about three hours. And so they are number one, who and what are, are you, inner and outer lives? Electric, magnetic electric life, physical life, development possible. Number two, the universe we live in and the rare creation, the seven levels. Understanding the zodiac is number three, through the stars, uh, planets, color, numerology, and your root number. Number four, understanding the human aura and the earth's aura, the astral and the ethereal light. Number five, the laws of creation and seven cards, uh, tarot card. And number six, this one is reincarnation, the choice. Okay, so those are all the things we've covered. Now, the question now is, do you want to continue on this amazing spiritual journey? Yes. And mm -hmm. how much would you pay to do so? There is much work to be done in this. And I, I must cover my expenses, like you know. So I cannot offer a continuous course of free videos. I can perhaps continue to make one free video a month. But it would be much better for me and for you, everyone that's watching, if you were to join a paid program of weekly lessons. The cost would, to you would be £17 a week or simply £68 a month <coughs> in time. Yes. Now, that would include a Facebook group, text you can read every slowly, videos you can watch live and participate in with questions and answers, or watch at your, your leisure. Now, if you wish to compare the price, this price, to a university course, then please note, with the spiritual journey, there are two 12-week paid semesters a year. That's a total cost a year, 12 times 2 times 70 equals £408 a year. Note, <laughs> yes, note, one can pay over 10 times as much in the university. Yes. So 24 paid weeks a year and 28 weeks to, to browse the videos, etc. And, and we'll have other things. So about continuing with the course, okay? The spiritual journey can be compared to a long journey exploring Australia. <coughs> okay, so one yeah. needs to prepare oneself for the hazards of the journey and to equip oneself as best they can for the unexpected. Many years can be taken up just in preparation of preparing for this um, journey if you were to go through Australia, yeah? Um, if one wants a successful exploration. Now, for example, a five meter human skeleton has just been found in Australia. I mean, that's enormous, yes? Uh, there's, there's a link for that. Indeed, there is much we do not know or that certain people have kept hidden from the populace. Yes. However, most people don't prepare themselves for life after the death of the physical body. This to me seems comparable to jumping in the sea without having taken swimming lessons. If one is to take swimming lessons, then it's best to have lessons from someone who can swim. Yes rather than someone who just has an academic view of swimming. 
I consider two or three years of preparation study essential to anyone who feels strongly about what life can promise and wants to prepare for the, the spiritual journey. <coughs> yes? <coughs> I mean, the, the, other, the, the other way is just to, to hope. Yes? I mean, you go to church and you hope, you, you know, you, you say that Jesus Christ died for our sins. Okay, well, that, all that is, is, is it's okay. But um, if that's what you wish to believe, that's okay. But you can also investigate the spiritual journey from the from another standpoint. Yes, it's best to cover all your bets. Now, this is the sixth week, and therefore our half-term point. And to, and from here, there's a two-week holiday. Okay. So, however, next Monday, the sixteenth, yes, there is a special meeting possible. For those who wish to look at another group called Versal. Now it's run by a friend of many years. That works along the same lines as a spiritual journey. So you're all invited, but you must contact me by Facebook private message if you wish to attend this. Now it will be approximately for two hours. You don't have to stay for two hours, but um, I can give you the link. And it will be very interesting. It's, it's on the same sort of subject. And it's, um, he, he's having this meeting whilst we're having our two week holiday. So um, it came out really timely. Now, next week will be the seventh week of our sort of meeting, possibly. Then, the eighth week, there will be no meeting. And I will contact the group members in the eighth week to see who wishes to go a step further. Yes, go a Octave up on the paid program. So, Keith, are there any questions about the course so far? Oh, thousands. Great. Okay, so we can deal with those next time. <laughs> I'm only kidding. What, what, what are your questions? What are, what are your thousands of questions? Well, anything. You, you present things, ideas, or claims to be fact, which are really don't seem to have much basis in proof of my research. Right. Uh, the bodies, etc. I mean, you could say the same, of course, uh, certain aspects of Christian belief. How do we know what is claimed will happen when we die? And there are claims that are made, um, which are a bit bizarre in a way. We will have a new body, that seems to be certain. But it's interesting, uh, on the Mount of Transfiguration, when Jesus appeared with uh, uh, Elijah and Moses, um, his body was transformed. Uh, it was uh, whiter than any soap could make it, I think the, the commentator says, one yeah, person yeah. I witnessed. And the commentary that I've heard on that incident is that it was, when we say transform or transfigured, the word is metamorphosis. Um, yeah, like a butterfly. Yeah, like a butterfly. So that we, there is, yes, it is a marvellous um, example of inner life uh, transformed into something quite different. Yeah. yeah. And that's the sort of claim the Christians are making when we're dead. Um, right. Yes. Yeah. Well, you, you know, I've, 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 I've experienced all of this because, you know, I've, I've been to, I went to church for years and years and years. But at the same time, I was studying as, uh, astrology. Yeah, I was interested in astrology. I was interested in all, all the aspects of, of, of the spiritual life. <coughs> yes? And, 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 and so for me, when I had this out-of-the-body experience, yeah, the church didn't seem to have the, the sort of spirituality that I experienced. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So, so I, I, I sat outside the church and I thought, well, it's not in there. Now, there is a, a, a level in the church and in, in life in general, um, and there is an astral level, which is sort of 
um, up to level five. But I've experienced higher levels. And so... Um, I don't know what that means. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Is this a higher level of consciousness? Yes. Well, this is higher levels. If, if It's something that you have to learn and it's something that does take time. And this is why I'm, I'm um, offering this course. Yes. Um, so that I can... Um, I can give a chance to other people to experience the higher levels because you won't find this anywhere else. Yes. No, well, <laughs> say I, don't, I don't accept all the uh, claims or apparent claims that this is how things are. That's, that's perfectly normal. That's perfectly normal. The thing to do is to disprove them. Yeah. Rather than, rather than just throw them out with the baby, yeah. yeah, you know what I mean. Um, try to disprove them. Yes. Now, <coughs> now I've I've given you um, some some links, and, and there are some links to astral projection. Oh, for example. For example, what, what's that then? I've heard of it. Astral projection. Oh, no. well, you'll have to have to look at the uh, the, the the videos <coughs> on my. <laughs> on my meaning, life, and promise page. Now, the astral projection is when you relax and you manage to to send out what what's what most people call your spiritual body. <laughs> when you manage to separate your spiritual body, and your spiritual body can go anywhere and do anything it wants and experience oh, yeah. anything in the astral light. Yes. Yeah? Well well, I don't say yes, you say yes, but I say I'm surprised. You're surprised because the problem is that most people, when they... Sorry. They, yeah, most people, when, when they, have, they have to work all day and they go to sleep at night. Yes. And so they, they astral travel unconsciously. Well... Yes. Um, I remember my mum, she, she told me, um, when I told her about astral projection, she said, oh, that's why, that's why I, I thought I was floating over the city. Yes, that's why I could see all these lights below me. Yes, so, so she, and it's more natural in, in young children, yes, um, but it's a whole, whole new study. One of the things to learn, just one of the, the many things. Yes. So, apart anyway, from that, are we about it and end? Because I have a, another pressing engagement as usual. Really? Oh, but okay. I want to put some of the links. Okay. Um, so, um, come back to you. Okay. So, ha have a look at those lo links. And um, for next week, the 16th Monday, do you think you'll be able to make it? For this meeting? Uh, well, I suppose so. Okay. Yeah. So I, I will I will make sure you get the link. Yeah. Yes. And uh, I'll give you a reminder about the meeting and that will be on Monday. Okay. Okay. Same sort of thing. Yeah. Uh, and you'll find out all about it on Monday. Okay. That's the 16th. Very much. Okay. Thank you. Bye. Bye for now.